Hey everyone, Chris Dick here. Um, this is part four of our Hadoop cluster installation on Amazon uh, AWS. Um, right now we're going to be installing Hadoop. So uh, it's a fairly involved process. So we're going to break this up into a couple sections here so that uh, it makes it a little easier to follow. So the first part we're going to simply set up uh, Hadoop and install all the or configure the, the uh, environment variables and uh, config configuration files. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log into PuTTY. So we uh, load up our profile and I'm going to load up all of them uh, in this case. So we're going to get into data node one, two, and three. We'll just organize them so that we can see everything in a nice, uh, easy way. Let's get my pretty icon there. There we are. Move that around. And our last one here. There we go. Okay. So we've got all of these uh, open, all of our nodes open. That's four systems ready to go for us. The first thing that we have to do is uh, update any packages that are currently on the server. This just simply, uh, you know, picks up anything that needs to be updated. And it's a good process to do. Just make sure that you're always, uh, your, your systems are always up to date. So do this on each system. Now, it's a fairly lengthy process. It can take some time, so uh, it's, uh, be patient. Um, some of the first one is already done, so fortunately we've, I've got a fast internet connection here today, which is really rare. Um, <clears throat> so we're done there, and it looks like we're done everywhere. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to install Java, okay? Uh, in this case, we're installing OpenJDK 7, okay, and I'm going to copy that over, and we're going to install it on all four machines once again, okay. Ask me if I do want to install this, yes, okay, I'm going to do that too, Let's say yes, all right. Look at this, it's like something in the matrix here. It's amazing. So, do that, and I say yes. Over here, I say yes. Excellent. So, everything's working away, installing. Once we're finished installing Java, uh, we're going to check on the versions as well. Now, this process takes a little bit of time. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take a moment and explain what we're going to do after this is complete here. Uh, we'll be downloading the Hadoop uh, version 2.71. Um, you're, if you're watching this, you know, over time, of course, that version may change. You may want to update the settings uh, just to make sure that you've got the right version number. <clears throat> Okay, so let's check our Java version just to ensure that we've installed. You don't really have to run this, but it's a good process. So I've got uh, 1.7.0.111, okay, on my first node. Same there. Same there. And same here, okay? So they're all the same versions, which is really key, okay? All right, now we're going to uh, download Hadoop. And by the way, this is going to go into our um, downloads folder. Okay. And that is in the home folder that we're, um, uh, we, we've been using on WinSCP. That's uh, home uh, slash uh, Ubuntu, and that'll be slash downloads. So we do this. It's a fairly quick process. It's, uh, again, if you've got a faster internet connection than I do, it will go very fast. So, 
We've got all these running at once here. So we're finished over here, we're finished over here, almost done there and almost done there. So now that we have files to, to use, um, why don't we go into WinSCP and you can see what this actually looks like here on uh, on the, the, the file system. So by logging in here, you'll be we're going to actually be in our Ubuntu uh, folder. We see downloads. OK, we had to see this one 2.7.1 uh, TAR. OK. That's a tarball file. Uh, it's also akin to a zip file on Windows. Um, and uh, uh, it's just a compressed file. Okay. So what we're doing next is we're actually going to um, uncompress that file. And we're going to put it into this folder. USR, okay, user, uh, local. All right. Um, so... You can get a visual on where that is. It is right here. Okay, and then local, right there. So it's going to put it in somewhere around here. We're going to see it in a moment. All right, and we'll go over here, press enter, and we'll run that on all the machines. Very simple and easy so far. This is like the easiest one that we're doing. So uh, it's always nice to have easy stuff to do. So now if I refresh this, you'll see that it's under Hadoop 2.7.1. All of the files are there. All right. Now um, we don't want them to be in the same in, in that folder. So what we're going to do is actually move the files to a different folder by the name of Hadoop, not with the uh, version number, okay? All right, so if I go back here, I've just done it on my name server. You'll see that these numbers will disappear, okay? It's like magic, all right? Super. Let's... Do that on all of the machines. Now, there's lots of ways you can do this to save steps, but essentially, I'm just taking some of the things for a, a long way so that everybody can watch what I'm doing. Okay. Now we've got we've downloaded Hadoop, we've, we've installed it. Now we have to configure some environment variables. So um, we need to go back to our home folder into Ubuntu, okay? And we're going to edit the profile file. Remember, that's a hidden file, so you have to make sure you've got your files uh, visible, your hidden files are visible. We're gonna load up that, so I'm just double-clicking on it. <clears throat> and at the bottom, we're going to put this information here. Now, I'll explain to you what it says. And we have to do this on all the nodes. Okay, it's very important that we do that. Um, this uh, this set of uh, information here, I'm going to also put Hadoop environment variables. Oops. Okay. Um, the Java home, so this is where Java is going to be located. So this is the root directory where it's located. So somewhere in there, it's going to be located in user Java. Um, path for uh, just the, the, just if I call path, it's going to look in uh, Java home uh, slash bin. Okay, the Hadoop home is user local Hadoop. That's the one we just moved all our files to bin uh, for uh, the path there as well that's where the binary files are and then the configuration directory as well is in hadoop uh, etc or ect or etc sorry um, and that's in hadoop as well so it's got a long folder so if ever i want to use those paths um, i can call um, with 
with a dollar sign, similar to what they have here. All right, I can call in with a dollar sign and use the um, use that short form. Okay, so we are going to save that information, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this from here. We'll save that. Okay, we'll close it, and what I have to do is now go into each of those data nodes, all right? And we're gonna make the same change to profile. Okay, go up one, into profile, paste it, save it, close it. Okay, we'll go now into data node two. Now again, you can do this with uh, the shell commands if you like to, using a secure copy. Um, I, uh, I, I tend to be a little bit more of a gooey guy, so, um, I don't mind doing this. All right. And one last one. This is data node three. We'll go here and change profile. Save that. Okay, good. Now we've got all of those uh, environment variables. Now what we have to do next in the shell is actually load the variables. So sort of make, let's call them, make, an, make it real, okay? So we do this on each of the machines. It's dot tilde slash dot profile, okay? Essentially it just uh, tells the system, hey, read me, okay? go now we've done that <clears throat> the next thing we have to do is modify the uh, Java environment shell okay um, currently Java homes is something different and we're going to do that now that we've got all of these uh, nodes open we're going to actually modify what it is saying in the Hadoop folder so we're going to go here into user local Hadoop uh, etc Hadoop okay now we have all these uh, all these files in here that we're going to be modifying we have a bunch of them we're going to look at Hadoop dash env dot sh okay I'm going to load that up into notepad <clears throat> and what we are looking for is this one here okay Java underscore home I'm going to change that from Java underscore home and it will be going to uh, this line right here, okay. I'm gonna flip over here, and we just replace that, okay. We save it, okay. Ask to ask if we want to save changes. We say yes, okay. Oh, permission denied. Now, here's an important thing to to understand. Why was permission denied? Um, <clears throat> what we have to do is change the ownership of, um, of the files because right now the owner is not us. We have to change some ownership here. So to do that, we do a change ownership, uh, command. We're going to change it to Ubuntu. Okay. And we want to apply ownership to the Hadoop folder that we set up earlier. Okay, so if we run this right now, that will allow us to make some changes. Okay, so if we now go into WinSCP on our name node, okay, we'll go into the configuration file. This is all of our configuration home, okay. And just take note of where this is. It's uh, Hadoop, uh, etc. Hadoop. Okay. We're going to open up the sh file here. This is the Hadoop dash environment uh, or env uh, dot sh, and we're going to change this one, okay, to the information that is right here. Okay. And we save that. Save me a step. There we go. Okay. So now that, uh, and you notice here, all of our ownership is, is right here. Okay. 
Now we have to do that on uh, on each one of the um, servers. So we will grab that information, paste it, and you'll notice I'm pasting it with the carriage return, so it's automatically running it. Okay, and that's all done. We'll go over here and just confirm that uh, that it actually worked on the other folders here and it should say it oops I went to the wrong one here. Uh, where are we? There we are. Alright. Local ETC. Sorry, a dupe. Losing my mind here. Alright. Look over here and we are in the ownership there as well. Okay back over to my install here, change my ownership or my uh, Java implementation, save it. Now by all rights, I mean, we can we could literally copy all the entire folder over in, in many cases, but we're, we're just doing this to sort of the long way so that everybody can see how, uh, how to do it several times, right? Okay, and here we go right there into that assets, uh, that uh, sh file, change that one, close, now one last one, and uh, yeah, it can be a, it can be a big process, so um, as you are developing your skills with this, You'll um, start developing, you know, better ways to do it. You'll, uh, you would probably want to create a batch file that would uh, manage this for you, and it just makes it a little quicker. Okay, so everything's saved. We are now into uh, modifying the core site dot XML file. Okay. What we are going to do is change the configuration element of the core site. So let's start back at uh, node name. Okay. Okay. We do that. And the other key that we have to do is we have to make a, a change here. This is going to be changed to our name node. Okay, and that's your name node, not mine. Okay, uh, you don't have to include the Ubuntu or Ubuntu. Sorry, um, it's just the uh, just the DNS. Okay, so you'll probably want to keep that um, in in your clipboard just uh, while we're doing this. Close that and save it. Now I'm going to show you a different way of doing this because. Uh, we're going to make all the changes on name node, and then we're just going to copy them over to uh, the other data nodes.